If you are joining the YouTube Partner Program for the first time or you are changing the AdSense account that is associated with your YouTube channel, make sure that the required details and documents are ready before you start. I will talk about the details and documents and the new AdSense verification process that Google is rolling out to some users later in this video. There are different scenarios for getting your account verified in AdSense and you might not find this type of explanation elsewhere on the internet. It's so sad that some of you who have reached out to me have lost some amount of money in AdSense. It's also quite unfortunate that you have gone too far with your verification process before you reach out to me. So this made me to make this quick video to make some clarification about some facts about AdSense verification. Before you start creating your AdSense account, keep in mind that AdSense is the platform for receiving payment from Google for pasting ads on your content on the internet. The first question you need to ask yourself is where do you want to receive your payment from or where do you want your money to be paid into? Is it in the US? Is it in the UK? Is it in Australia? Is it from a Nigerian bank, a Dubai bank or a South African bank? This is the first question you need to ask yourself and this should be a guide on how you will fill the information required in creating an AdSense account. Next is your identity verification. For example, I entered my name as Jonathan in AdSense. In this case, I need to prove to Google that I am Jonathan by providing any government approved ID card such as a national ID card, a driver's license or international passport. And the name I put in the AdSense account should be the same as the name on the ID card I'm providing. Next is your address verification. In this process, you need to provide the PIN sent to you from Google to your physical address. But if you are unable to receive this PIN after three attempts, then the manual verification option will be activated for you to use. In this manual verification process, if you have your address on the government approved ID card, then that could be the only document you need to verify your identity and address. But if your address is not on the ID card, you will need to submit an additional document that has your name and address on it. It could be a telephone bill, a bank statement, or a rent receipt. The name on this document, that is if it's a rent receipt or a telephone bill, should be the same as the name on the ID card and your AdSense account. When submitting the copies of these documents, make sure that the edges of these documents are clearly visible. This is very important. If any of the edges are not visible, like you edited them out, I'm sure that the document will be rejected outrightly. The sad side is that you have limited number of times to attempt these verifications. And if you have exhausted this attempt with no success, you might lose every money you have on that AdSense account. Google makes you go through all this in order to prevent fraudulent activities on their platform. In a different scenario, if you live in another country other than your home country, for example, you're a Ghanaian living in Portugal and you want to receive your payment through a Portuguese bank. In that case, you need to create an AdSense account with Portugal as the country because you live in Portugal and you want to receive your payment from Portugal. I believe Google is listening to most of you that have been complaining about this PIN verification and how stressful it has been. And from what I'm hearing, I think Google is testing out a faster and easier AdSense verification process that will improve users' experience and guard against fraud. They are testing this new process with some users, though a third-party website is handling it. It requires you to use the camera on your phone or your computer to verify that you are who you are. Many have attempted this process, but it seems that this process is more complicated than the old process. From the feedback I got, many of the issues users have is related to poor camera quality and the lighting not bright enough for the system to accept the quality. And also from the feedback, I learned that you have two attempts to make and if you fail in them, then your AdSense account will be disabled. Based on this feedback, I suggest you use the old process which requires only documents rather than the new process that requires facial verification which might need some technicalities like picture quality or brightness. If you have used the new verification process, that is the facial verification process, I would like to know your experience in the comment section and if you need a total support on this AdSense verification process from the beginning to the end, you can join my channel's membership and my team will be there to assist you to the end. If this video was helpful, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. 
and also don't forget to follow me on instagram and i'm announcing that my new website is coming out very soon so i would like you to visit it and share your thoughts about it thanks for watching see you in the next one